that we have a responsibility, first and foremost, to keep people safe in the institution. Well, we have a problem doing that. I'll be the first to admit we have a very inhumane jail. Not because of the people who work here, but it's the physical plant of the facilities that are inhumane. So here's an example. Here's the concrete slab bed I talked about, the aluminum toilet, and the lights are on 24 hours a day. So again, if you come in in a wheelchair, this is where you're coming. Somebody comes in manic with a mental health condition. They're off their medications. Happens every night. They get arrested, brought to jail because they're off their medication regiment and they're suffering from <laughs> mental illness. Where do they go? They go to a six by eight concrete slab cell while we medicate them and try to get them back on their regiment. And what's their crime? Their crime is being mentally ill. That's why they're in solitary confinement. Now, do you think that's therapeutic? It's not. Matter of fact, it exacerbates the conditions that they're having. So you ask, why do, we need a, why do we need a new jail? I don't need a new jail. I need a jail that's humane and provides me the opportunity to just provide the basic human needs to an individual in our jail because we can't provide it today. I don't lose sleep over our people doing their job. I don't lose sleep over fear that deputies are arresting, inappropriately arresting people of color. I don't lose sleep over the fact that I think our people might use excessive force. We're a values-driven organization. I lose sleep over the physical plant that I'm charged with keeping people safe in. Now, do we need a new jail? We need a jail that provides safe housing for people who come to jail in a wheelchair.